Hello. Today I'm going to make an embellishment. Um, I'm using a three and a, it's just shy of three and a quarter. It's just like a sixteenth of an inch shorter. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch square. And then these are one by two inches. Okay. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to glue these down like so. Isn't that pretty? Somebody sent these borders to me. They're so pretty. And I noticed that on this, on the red one, on the dark red one here, then it's a little bit discolored from being in the sun. But, so I could either leave it like that, or if I turn it over, it's perfect. So I thought this one, I'm just going to do it over. And I'm doing this because, for two reasons. One, because of that. But also to show you that you can still use this type of paper. Just turn it over. Or you can sponge color on top of it. And that would, that would hide that. Okay? So if, if you've got bits and pieces of card, that, or even a full sheet that has a discoloration on it, either turn it over or just brush some color on it. Okay? Alrighty. So I figured I'd go ahead and get these laid down the same way. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue them. Actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it this way. Use my tape runner. That'll work. All righty. How small these bits and pieces are that we're playing with today. One inch by two inches. One inch high. It's actually just shy of one inch by two inches long. So that's some pretty small pieces here. And you can use whatever whatever colors or shades you have. If you've got decorative paper, you can certainly use that. If you've got solid cardstock, you can use that. If you have folders or a crimper, you can use that. If you got a scoreboard, you can use that. Isn't that a neat embellishment, though? I love it. Alrighty, so let's get this one together. And I'll hold them both up for you so you can see the embossing folder embossed image there. You can see it both ways, one side or the other. I think sometimes we forget that the embossing folders do have two sides and we can certainly use them in our, in our crafting. All right, there. All righty, so let me hold these up so you can see the difference. So see, this one's raised up and this one's indented into it. Isn't that neat? But they both look nice. Okay, now I did pull out these images and I figured we could, I wanna fussy cut. I'm wondering if that'll be too dark or too much the same, but I do like the yellow with it. I think that's kind of pretty. And this blue is really pretty. Maybe I'll do these two. All right, let's, let's do that. Let me cut this guy out. I love fussy cutting things out. I think that's fun. It was so cute. The door the doorbell rang and my 16-year-old grandson was at the door with his dad and he was in his car his first car, he was so excited because first thing he wanted to do was drive over to Mom's house and let her see the car. That's so sweet. 
and he and he grinned his big old Cheshire handsome grin and said, I may be stopping by tomorrow too. So he wants Papa to see it too. Oh yes, look at that. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, I like him there. That's adorable. All righty. Now let's cut that word off and we'll trim this little fairy out. I have been noticing for me, if I have images and words punched out beforehand, I mean, stamped out beforehand, then I'm definitely more apt to grab them and use them on cards versus pulling every single thing out and trying to figure out what image and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know, That's that gets to be too discouraging for me. Sometimes I do it that way though and, and just start from the very beginning. But most times I do them this way. Most times I'll do some type of embellishment or layout on a card, and then I'll just grab whatever images I have available to me close by. Instead, unless it's a something specific I'm doing, like if I if if someone needs a hug, I have a lot of hugging images. So if someone's having some downtime in their life, then then I'll certainly go over and, and grab the box of hugging images that I have and. Or if there's a, a holiday, birthday, or whatever, or occasion, then I'll go for those images. But most times, I just use whatever's on my desk. That is cute. Oh, look, he could be sitting there. <laughs> that is adorable. He looks like he's saying, I'm so big. there. Alrighty. That's cute. Okay. I do like both of those. Very nice. And this one we can put that just because on there. And I do like him sitting down on that on that block. That's really cute. <laughs> I like that. Alright. So let's go ahead and put this on. I want to curl this over. my little dots that's so cute all righty then we can put this guy on here and let him sit right there on the corner that's adorable. All righty, and that's not very straight. That's much better. And I guess I can lift that up too, why not? That's adorable. Very nice. Alrighty, let's do this one. I think I need a, a better pen instead of a, the pencil. Yeah, that's better. Because this one's bigger. Now I can go ahead and do this one. Sweetie should be home soon on Fridays. He leaves halfway through the day. Oh, speaking of, he just came in the door. I guess I can hear the bell ding and ding, ding, ding. That is so adorable. I like these. What do you think of these? Aren't they adorable? Aren't they cute? What a fun little embellishment to make. Now let's go ahead and put one on a card. Let's see. All righty. I like that. That's
that's cute. Alrighty. Now if I do, ooh, if I do this one, I could do half a piece of this. And that would actually match because of that blue. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I think I will do, and that's the exact size that I need too. So that's perfect. All right, let's get my crimper. Because this is part of an envelope that has been eaten up. So there we go. Ta-da. Alrighty. Now I can cut this out. Four by Five and a quarter. Oops, a little bit less because it's cut down here. There we go. That will work. Alrighty. That'll be perfect. I like it, but I don't. Because that green is so dark. I know what'll what will make it come together, though, if I use black going around it. That'll work. All right. That's what I'm going to do. All righty. So let's get our paper up here. Let's see. This one's got a lot of ink on it already. Look at how torn apart this book is. Isn't that sad? This whole thing. But I saved all these bits and pieces. And that, it's so old and it's brittle. So it's very easily... It very easily cracks. All right, let's get this marker down here and let's go around the edges. There. Then we can go around these edges. I really like using these dry erase markers for this because they move so smooth. Yep, they do. Nice. And they dry really fast, which is nice. And I had a whole case of them for $7 and change. So that's why I bought them to begin with. I initially bought them for my sister and her grandkids because they had a great big dry erase board. That looks much better. See what di a difference that looks like with the black on it? That's perfect. All right. So, but then she moved. So, oops. Here, I'll just have to cover it up. I don't want you seeing my, my friend's name and address on there. Sweetly saved these envelopes for me. There, that'll work. Oh, that's really sticky. Alrighty, and I like to put two opposite corners down because then you're more likely to get it straight. Perfect. Ta da! Love it. Alright, now we can put this on. And I think I want to 3D that up too. That'll be cute. Alrighty. Alrighty, dighty, dighty. Perfect. There. That little pixie fairy is so adorable. That's my friend's image. That is cute. I do like that. Ah, so we've got a embellishment and then embellishment actually made into a card 
and I think we need something down at the bottom and I do have these two colors which would pull that color right down or I could put that on the inside and put this down here with some gems. I think I like that idea better. All right, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and glue this down. Yucky. Perfect, okay. Alrighty, then on the inside we can put these. And I need my little glue stick. I know I threw it over here. There it is. I have a little tin over there and I just kind of throw everything over there. <laughs> and sometimes they get in the tin and sometimes they miss, but that's okay. All right. Ta da! Now you know my trick on how to put these itty bitty pieces on. Yep, you do. And then when you need a little bit more right here, just press it down. Alrighty, and here we go doing this one. That's perfect. All righty, now you trim that up. Ta da! And that looks pretty on the outside, on the inside. That looks nice. I do like that. All right, now I do also have these pieces that I've cut off, and they're just extra bits. So I'm thinking maybe I could do a flag in here. I could do that. That one and this one. That would be cute. Okay. Let's do that. There. You can do one a little bit higher than the other. Like that. Alrighty, so we'll do that. Ta da! Like so. Good idea. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put some tape runner across the top of both of those and we can put those on. And that one can go there. And this one can go here. Stay down. There you go, squish. Alrighty. I like that. That's cute. Alrighty. So then I just need, to, need a little bit of bling right here. So for that, we just need a box of bling. And let's see. Blue down. Hmm. What else is in here? So I've got a blue flower, blue leaf. A couple leaves in there. Alrighty. Those red gems, that would be pretty. Ooh, that pulls the red right down, doesn't it? That really does. I like that. I like that better than the blue. Or do it this way. One, two, three, like that. Ooh, I like that better. Okay, let's do that. That's pretty. Very nice. Put some back on my shelf and glue these in place. If I line them up underneath, then I know exactly where to put the glue. So I want that 
that right there and this on either side. Ta-da! So that dollop of glue in the middle and then right there and right there. Awesome. here to line them up straight. This one's over just a wee bit. I gotta check that again because I pushed it down a little. Perfect. All right, very good. I like the way that looks. What do you think of that? Isn't that neat? So we've made an embellishment and then we made an embellishment and made it into a card. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.